Hey, you got Fox here. It's Sunday, and you know what that means. Mailbag day. If you want my uh, question answered, ask it in the comments below on Twitter, Reddit, anywhere, really. All right, first question from Daniel Bonilla and Tyler Suarez. They're both a asking me about what I think about the Ladarius Green signing. Well, uh, you know, not that the offense needed another playmaker, but I am pretty excited to see what he can do. A different player than Heath, not as good a blocker, but he'll be solid, uh, tall. If their offense can stay healthy next year, uh, the AFC is in for a lot of trouble. They might have, you know, one of the best offenses probably, you know, ever assembled, I'd say. I mean, that might be her hyperbole, but it's going to be crazy. I mean, the best wide receiver in the league and the best wide receiver depth in the league, a top three running back, a top five quarterback, a top ten line, probably one of the top three lines with Pouncey back if he stays healthy. Uh, if they get their defensive back situated, and I know they say offenses are offenses are more consistent year to year than defenses, uh, they'll be competing for a Super Bowl, no doubt. All right, Brandon Green, next question. Uh, when Vic ran for that touchdown, you were howling like a dog. This is not my Michael Vic review. Uh, have you ever broken a controller? It sounded like you were hard on that one just during that one game. Well, uh, that's just me setting the controller down to you know pump my fist or just clench my fists in anger. Uh, I actually didn't uh, think that it was that loud on stream because it's kind of like it's a hard table and it's right on the mic. So I, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna continue to set that uh, kind of. Like, it's kind of like setting it down. I don't know. It, it's slow toss. I've never broken a controller. Uh, but uh, let me know if you guys have. Have you guys ever broken a controller in anger or rage? All right. Uh, Evan Robichaud says, do you stream on Twitch? If so, what's your username? Uh, I stream at twitch.tv slash muttogteam. It's a team with three other guys that stream. They stream almost daily. Um, I stream when I have time, but YouTube is my main focus. So I can go a week or so. Like This past week has been really bad um, between streams. Uh, I really want to do it more because I enjoy it a lot. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, uh, life gets in the way sometimes. Uh, Alright, Alfredo Burrito says, Is the 4-3 playbook still worth the 40k for the dime flat? You know, I think so. Although you can get similar production out of other playbooks now. It's no longer, you know, the, the amazing nano on the dime flat that people have to be aware of every play. Uh, but I, I, I like to come out on it. Uh, I know WAP says he comes out on it as, as his base play, but a lot of top-end guys can now tear it apart because everybody's, you know, so used to seeing it. After everybody used it for such a long time, uh, but I, I I like it, you know, base plays, and then I'm playing a lot more cover two man, and then like usering up the defensive end uh, to really stop them from uh, going. So it's kind of like a good way to mix things up. Anyways, it's got good run support for such a wide set with fast defense, defensive backs in the field. All right, Wyatt shot. Do you think golden tickets could ruin position hero investments? Now this is a good question. I mean, it depends really on your position hero investment. As I just missed that user. Um, like if if you're buying these guys weeks ahead of time, uh, and uh, making profit, like the right tackle Volmer and other ones that I pointed out in my on GutFox.com is the good ones to go for, then I think you should be safe because those position heroes are still coming out 90, 98, 99 overall. Those will still, ooh Charles Woodson 99 overall making plays for me. Uh, those will still be at a high value and they will go up once those things launch. We just don't know which ones coming out when and which ones are in the sets, but. Uh, as for like buying a player on Sunday, like I've been saying, and then if, if golden tickets get released this weekend, we can see a crash in the market. That could potentially ruin, as I give the uh, ball right back there on offense, that could potentially ruin our week-to-week -week investment strategy that's been so far successful with the highest rare overall player if you got on at the right time and picked up at the right price. So potentially, yes, but it depends on what the investment really is. I mean, a lot of people, I see a lot of people doing 91, uh, road to the playoffs, uh, Devonta Freeman for running back, but like I said in the video, it's really risky whether they put that thing in the uh, game or not. As we inside zone it to Marshall Falk, and it looks like we've got clear sailing ahead of us. Let's see if I can get one question here from the newest submission on Ask Reddit. How do fruit flies suddenly appear when fruit goes bad? Um, it's like when doves suddenly appear whenever you and I are near. No, birds suddenly. I can't even get the lyrics right on a stupid song for a stupid joke. That's it. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.